Hi there, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. Today I want to talk about switch loops. I started talking about this in my hanging a fixture video and wanted to make a separate video just for this. What's a switch loop, or reverse switch leg as some people also call it? How can you identify it? A switch loop is when someone brings power to the fixture box instead of the switch box and then runs a two-wire down to the switch box. Basically, there will be no neutral in the switch box. One wire will carry the current down to the switch and the other wire will be the switched wire carrying power back up to the fixture. If you have a switch that only has two wires besides the ground connected to it and those two wires are a white wire and a black wire, then you are looking at a switch loop. The reason I don't like this method anymore is because you can't upgrade your switch to a smart device. These smart switches require a neutral wire, and in these cases, there are none. Let's go back up to the fixture box. You will have all the grounds tied together the same way. You will still tie all your neutrals together, but you will have one wire that is white that will not be tied to the neutrals because it is not a neutral. The white wire going down to the switch box will be connected to the live wires in the switch box. And the black wire that goes down to the switch box will be connected to the black wire of the fixture. Bear to bear, the white fixture wire goes to the neutrals because we still need a return back to the panel. And that is how you install a fixture on a switch loop. Visit thevirtualelectrician.com to hire a virtual electrician to make sure you do this safe and right.